It makes me sick to watch the Republicans in Washington and Albany repeatedly attacking our people, our progress, our protections. Yet instead of uniting with us to resist this assault, our state Senator Marisol Encantara, elected as a Democrat to represent the Upper West Side, Upper Manhattan, turned on us by joining the Independent Democratic Conference, the IDC, a group of turncoat Democrats that empower the Republican minorities to control the New York State Senate and block progressive legislation. I'm running to build a real Democratic State Senate majority that will finally fund our public schools, protect tenants from being thrown out of their homes, and reform our loophole-ridden rent laws. Pass the DREAM Act, Liberty Act, Reproductive Health Care Act, and real criminal justice reforms, and make Andrea Stewart-Cousins the first woman Senate majority leader, breaking up the so-called three men in a room. We need to open doors of opportunity, not slam them shut. From my first elected position as school board president, where I launched a campaign for fiscal equity school funding lawsuit, walked 150 miles to Albany to highlight the cause, and won a judgment that resulted in $16 billion for the New York City Public Schools, to my 12 years on the city council, where I sponsored the Small Business Survival Act, promoted equality, fairness, and justice, to my recent fights for tenants and against the IDC, I have taken on the tough fights for New Yorkers and never backed down. I'm proud to be supported by Congressman Jerry Nadler, Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney, former Mayor David Dinkins, Controller Scott Stringer, Council Speaker Corey Johnson, the National Dominican Women's Caucus founder Zenaida Mendez, Vote Pro-Choice, and many more. I ask for your vote on Thursday, September 13th. I'm Robert Jackson. I'm ready to fight and end Republican control of the New York State Senate. And with your help, I will. Please vote for me on September 13th. Thank you.